A most skin fades. You need to start around, around, around here. The line, the baseline is around here. His baseline is going to go up like this. So it's going to go up a little higher than most, most base skin lines. Using my walls, balding clipper. Now, I want to keep this line here because this line right here, because of the lightness of the fade, this line might be erased and so we don't want to do that. We want to keep that line there as much as possible. We're going almost up to the crown. This is higher than most fades, most skin fades. Most skin fades go right about here or here. We going all the way up to the side. You watching how the horn comes? Huh? Oh, it's like this. Ah, it's not greasy. That's good. Daniel is a regular, and so it's my job to make sure that Daniel doesn't break out, doesn't contaminate himself with his own uh, hair or with his own dirt because I clean the clippers, and so therefore, every time I, I skin spray him, I make sure that he doesn't get contaminated. And how we do that is right after we skin spray him, we wash or wipe down his skin to make sure he doesn't get contaminated by his own hair, his own uh, particles, dirt particles, and uh, also by anything that I might bring uh, to his head. So that's very important. If you have a barber, you cut your hair regularly, you want to make sure that uh, you're not being contaminated, not only by his clippers, but by your own hair and dirt. So it's very important. People who get skin fades should be very cautious about that. Uh, you might have seen guys with keloids in the back and all kind of bumps in the back because uh, they've been infected. And once you get infected once, it's hard to get rid of because every time you skin fade it, you cut the bump open and more dirt, more grease goes into the bump and it's almost impossible to get rid of uh, without uh, surgery or some type of uh, uh, medicine, prescription medicine. Okay, we got our baseline. Make sure that that line is straight. Make sure your baseline is symmetrical all the way around. For the most part. We're gonna come back with our. Liners, this liner is just for the back of the neck and for little boys. This liner is adjusted for little kids and also for the back of the neck. You should have two, two clippers, at least two clippers. One for your lining in the front, which is really kind of sharp, just kind of sharp, and then one for little kids and for the back of your client's neck. Because uh, that one that's for the front is too sharp for the back of the neck. If you notice I'm not pressing hard here at this line, if I press too hard at this line, I won't get that line out. So when I go to that line, I just brush. Okay, now that baseline is in place. 
I'm gonna do now is wipe this down real good so that no dirt or grease or any kind of germ might infect them. Good thing to do, especially here. Just spray him down a little bit. That way you know he won't get infected by his own self. So he's straight there. Okay. Now we know this is gonna be a light fade. It's gonna be a number one against the grain. When you have guys that, that go light, you wanna make sure that this line right here is is not uh it's not removed because you won't have a line up line. So you wanna be very careful because it's so light not to touch this, this front line. I'm gonna show you. Here is also a light area for most men who are going and receding. So it's light right here, so you don't wanna go against the grain right there. So what you wanna do is go with the grain here. So here we can go again, this is number one. Okay. And I get right here. I don't want to start at the beginning of the line. I want to start just be just, just above that line. I just I just completely ignore this area right here. So I'm going just above that line. Right here also is a light spot just above that line. Okay, so we got it here. You can push it in here close. This is the line right here. I didn't start right here, I started right just above that line. So I don't want to erase that line. Okay, then I come down on it. See that? I came down on it. We're going to clean that line some more now. Let's see what this is. Let's see this. So all the hair we don't need, we get rid of right away. Okay. Now and this master, when you open it up to the fifth notch, that's a, that's a one. This is used for, for now for cleaning this up. This is all one. Okay, go back on that. Remember right here, we're going to go down on that. Right here, we're gonna go down all in the front. We go down. We want to pre preserve that line. If I go back here, like that, that's gonna make that lighter than this. And you don't want that. Clean up good. Right here, go down on that. Go down, go down, go down. So make sure that you feather it in so that it blends in with the rest of the hair. See? All that blends in there. If I had went up on that, that would have been real light right here. And it would have been a problem showing up. And we want to preserve his line as long as possible. Okay. And this line right here, we want to make sure you preserve it because that's going to be your lineup line. Okay. 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 
Now